here to prepare, you went there, and now you've come back home to try to do it again or to do it on your own. How do you feel now? My mom wants to know how we feel about our rise and sudden fall from fame. It's a, it's a weird feeling being back here just because this area is not where we can find something productive to do as far as what we want to be doing. I don't, I don't really feel bad about being here because I know it's temporary. We had a couple days to get out of the house. So if we had a couple days to get out of the house, where else are we going to go? Back to Beaumont. But we're leaving here in a week, two weeks at the most. No matter what, I cannot stay in Beaumont. I love my hometown, but I want to visit my hometown. I don't want to necessarily live in my hometown. I'm not, I'm not sad about being in Beaumont because this is just a pit stop. Once we got there, I wasn't even a part of the show, so I was sad. I mean, people didn't even know I was a part of the family. Like, I always get questions on Twitter. People asking me, like, oh, you're their little brother? Before, it was all about my sisters, but now it's time for everyone to get to know Mr. Pretty Mask. My dad? He's feeling really unhappy about being back here right now. I feel like there's more that can be done and more that should be done. And I don't think uh, this doesn't feel right being back. So basically, we're here. We're here to regroup. We're here to rethink some things. We're here to, uh, there is nobody with shackles on you holding you down, telling you you can't do anything. So. That house is cool, great price, great location. I think that they're trying to like trick us with that fourth bedroom. It's not a bad one. Why? Because it had a window that goes to the kitchen. Right at the stove. This house is absolutely perfect. It's big, it's new. It's exactly what I was thinking about when I said we're moving back to Hollywood. So Mike's on the phone with an agent that's telling him that we didn't get that house. Yeah. Uh, but there's no, there's no guidelines to, you know, that, as I said, the owner could make, they, they could use any guidelines they want. All right. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, well, if you, like I said, if you have anything else, just let me know it immediately, and then. Um, oh, I will. Believe me. And then we'll look into the West Side Rentals and wherever else. I would, yeah, that that's, that could be. I would double. I would really check that. I think I don't know if it's a ten or fifteen dollar fee to sign up or whatever, but sometimes there's there's some houses on there. Okay. And I'll see what I can find. Okay. Thank you, Mike. All right. Thanks. So I had the I had the meeting today and when I went there I got some good news but then I got some bad news. Today my mom had a meeting with this big time image consultant. I don't want to know what happened. You know, he wants to work with everybody in our family. Initially, he just wants to just kind of focus on me and Mariah. Being one of the two people that the Image Consultant has decided to work with is really exciting for me. I really want to get my image out there and really work my hashtags. Yeah, but my image right now needs attention, like immediate attention. I want to be excited right now, but I can't. Um, not being ungrateful, you know, I just need a lot of help right now. My image needs focus. Is it possible to find somebody else who'd want to work with me? Well, I mean, I can... Want to work with, like... So I think everybody should have someone working with them on their image. Jamila has to learn that not everything is going to come out in her favor. So right now, it's not coming out in our favor. So you just have to think you're not always going to be told yes or you're not always going to be somebody's main priority when they're working. So you just have to get over it and just wait and see what happens.
Camila just had a car accident. She said she totaled her car. I'm here at the party. It's incredible. So many people to connect with. Zach is amazing. I absolutely love him. We're having a good time. We're doing photo booths. We're talking to people. I'm here at the party. I made it. I was not going to let their car accident stop me. I'm so happy that I came, but I am in a crap load of pain. This is just how it goes there in Hollywood. I'm going to test your ears. You hear it? Oh, oh. Miss Mouton wants to see if I can hear notes on the piano. She wants to make sure I'm not tone deaf. Hold it. Open your mouth. Okay. Okay. We definitely have a lot of work to do. First rule of thumb is that. Your body is your instrument. The way you stand when you're practicing, you stand slightly apart. Anytime you're training, you want to stand slightly apart so that the body is like a collier that the air travels straight through. Okay, it makes it very easy. Listen carefully, almost as if you're hearing it in your head. No, listen, listen. Palm it now. That would definitely be something that would be in the main stage. As a DJ, you know, you you have you have a dream, you know, and that dream is to, you know, follow the footsteps of some of the bigger DJs. And right now, you know, my dream is to continue to follow the footsteps of some of these bigger DJs and, you know, follow their footsteps across the world and across the globe. That's something that I want to do. I want to experience the world. And I think this is a starting point. Hashtag Electric Dance Fest is pleased to welcome DJ Mike Star to our lineup. Oh. 822, 823, come see him spin. Are you serious? Hashtag Let me family. see. Hashtag Eden Dance Fest. Hello. 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 
I'm really excited about today. My mom has us set up to go to two different agencies. This is amazing because with us having an agency, we can really start getting booked for a lot of different things. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen today. Um, I called you guys in here. I, I, I was gonna be giving you the game plan for our meetings today, but things have changed, okay? We are, I know that we were sent to go to two agencies today, but I, I just got a call because, you know, an email was sent out saying that they needed to get more information, needed more time to look further into us. You know, after being um, on TV, a lot of the times people want to dig a little deeper to find out what's going on. This sucks, okay, because I'm ready to work. And with not going to the agencies today, that's just another day with me not working. From there, they want to know, what are you doing today? They want to know, how does the fans feel? What What's going on out there? I have to compile all these things and get that to them, all right? So stop playing around because the longer I take, the longer the email is going to get to them. Okay, how's that? There's some guy that's dancing in the middle of the floor having a real good time and Michael's just egging him on. This is so crazy. Oh my god, I am so tired. But this is the life of being famous. get this hair flip right. My hair's not flipping because I can't stand up straight because I'm off balance in these stupid heels and I'm trying really hard but it's just not working. God, I love the fact that the class is in the dark. It has these sexy red lights. The teacher is really hot. Like this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Mariah. Yeah. Listen, I got that video of you singing that hook that I need to give to the producer. It doesn't sound good. I'm expecting some sort of improvement and I haven't really heard any improvement. And I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you're holding back. I don't know what you're doing, but that's not gonna work. I mean, what are you doing? We told you that you need to develop me. So I've only had three lessons with her. Well, today is gonna be my third lesson with her. So I am trying, I'm not holding back at all. I understand exactly how my children work. I understand that, oh, mommy, I did my best. I know when I did my best is really my best. I'll report it again when we report it I'm gonna do an audition for Jason Derulo and it's to be a part of his dance crew that's gonna perform with him at the Teen Choice Awards. I'm really, really nervous right now. I don't know what to expect. I've never been to an audition like this. So. Oh 
over now. Um, no, I did not get picked, but I do not feel bad about it because I gave it my all. I did my very best. It's done! I'm happy and I'm ready to be living this dream. Right, you're a beautiful young lady, but you know what? We're going to have to change it. I think I have a little bit of bicep action going on. You know on. what? I think that basically we're trying to put together a show that's going to be just way over the top. Yeah. You have to remember that there's all kinds of people in the audience. Of course I want it to be way over the top, but, I'm not, the top. I, but I don't know. It seemed like you're trying to make a, a funny out of it or a joke, and it doesn't sound like a show. But your idea is that you want a memorable, fun, unique. Okay, can we just, can that just happen? And that's what I'm telling you what I want. Today wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, and in the end, I was happy to have my sisters there to look out for me. I wanted to tell you guys thank you for giving me space. Stop the notes. Stop. Creep. Aww. You ever kiss her for a sister, she God. Yeah. You're gonna just be jealous. You're just gonna be mad. You know, some stuff that, you know, I wasn't really prepared for, I'm really, you know, really looking forward to this. So it's heartbreaking to have to prepare for an event and the next thing you know, you know, it doesn't happen. There's 12 ways around the word no. And you know how we do, we like to, you know, take charge ourselves. super hard and here comes Damon Wayans Jr. okay throwing the ball at me totally cheated he caught me when I was not even looking and I was talking to my teammate on the side for us to sit down and talk about the direction of this show we need to find out a new direction to go okay um, we are 
not only are we trying to be successful in Hollywood, but we are still producing the show and we have to to do certain things. So for everybody to have some input and everybody to help decide what goes in, what goes out, and, and what's the direction we want to go with this show because everybody's ideas count. I feel like the show is practically doing it. And I think right now the show is quite boring. Um, the substance that we're using is boring. Um, and every time I start to edit, I look at the edits and I'm like, this is boring. Um, I don't see any, uh, any real emotion behind what we're doing. Because it seems as if you guys don't know or have figured out this thing by now. So I'm just letting you guys know that um, the viewership is tanking. Marketing is tanking. Um, people are, I think, people are, are, are disinterested in what we're doing now. Well, you can you can address now exactly how you feel about it because to shoot or I was shooting a lot of stuff and it wasn't being used and I was spending a lot of my extra time filming stuff and the footage isn't getting done, isn't getting used into the show. So it's like, I can be more productive on what I'm doing if I'm not like fumbling around with my camera or trying to figure out lighting and, and all that to like shoot it myself. I can be doing something else when most of my footage isn't even used. You are a testament to the footage. You even looked at some of the footage that she shot the other day and you said, I can't use some of this because the way it's shot. And I said, exactly, our shooting has show, there has to be substance, and the substance has to be able to relate. And if, it not, if it's not relatable, it's like, how can I use something that doesn't even tie in to everything that's being done? We just have to try to implement the rules of thumb, just the basic rules of thumb, and whatever you get, you get. Just like when Bring that up again. I personally think that the two minute phone call can all be put into the episode. People complain that they're too short. The reason that phone calls and TV shows are so short is because they have so much to put together. Like even there hasn't been a lot of care put into the last few episodes, and that is just a core fact. Realistically, y'all don't want to hear what I have to say. Y'all are not trying to understand what I have to say. Realistically, because it's it's about let me put that two minute telephone conversation and y'all both agreeing and only seeing one thing. Y'all only seeing your way. So it needs to go in a new direction and not for us to be fussing out and doing all this because nobody's listening to me. I'm just but you're not trying to hear it though, right? But you're not trying to hear it. Everybody is not just one person that can make the decision. It's not just two people that makes the decision. It don't matter how mad anybody want to get. It don't matter how quiet somebody wants to get. If this is something that's a collective effort, it's not just for one person. I didn't call this meeting to have no fight. I didn't call the meeting, but that's why I said, say what you got to say. Don't be quiet and don't, don't get just, you know, have a productive, respectful meeting. That's it. I don't see Famous and 12 Uncut going too long. Famous and 12 Uncut can't stop.